Welcome everyone to Gamer Melt. Today we have some new Navi leaks with insane performance and AMD officially launched their 50th anniversary hardware. But first, we all love video games. They entertain us, they teach us, they even help strengthen friendships. But now I'm happy to say they can help you find a relationship with today's sponsor. GamerDating.com, the first dating website for gamers. And today they're doing a giveaway with 20 winners and $50,000 in prizes. So take your passion and find love by following the link in the description below. Okay. It's news time, and first up for today, I have a story that's a little old at this point, but the Mel Militia recently sent it over and a new article cropped up that corroborates the story well, so I figured it was time I discussed it. For those of you who have kept up with the channel, I posted a video last year that went over a leak by Adore TV, the tech channel that accurately leaked out NVIDIA's RTX cards shortly before their release. This time, the channel had information on Navi, AMD's next generation GPUs. Unfortunately, it wasn't from the same source that gave him the RTX news, plus it was a lot earlier, so reliability was suspect. Since then, Adore TV posted a video that went more in-depth on the leak as well as provided us with more GPUs. And I will say that their source gave a good bit of information that's since proven more to be true, like Navi still being GCN, Arturis not being the next-gen architecture, and the newer story I'll get to in a minute. First, let's have a look at the new GPUs Adore TV shared. Last time I went over the RX 3060, 3070, and 3080. We have two new ones this time, and according to his source, these are anniversary edition chips set to launch later this year. Of course, always keep in mind that this far back, a lot of times the companies themselves don't know the final names or product specs. Instead, think of this as more or less what they're aiming for. With that said, you can see the special edition Navi 10 comes with 56 compute units and is aimed at being 15% more powerful than the 3080, which itself is 10 to 15% more powerful than Vegas 64. It's set to come with a TDP of 180 watts and a price tag of $330. Then you have the special edition Navi 20 GPU, and this is where things get interesting. Supposedly, this 225 watt 64 compute unit GPU is 20% more powerful than the 2080, yet comes in at just $430. Basically, it's nearly double the price to performance of the 2080. Now, while that flat out sounds too good to be true, which it very well may be, a piece of news dropped that makes it at least slightly more believable. Also sent to me by the Mel Militia, to which thanks again for that, and don't forget that you can join the Militia by sending any leaks, rumors, or news to tip at GamerMel.com. So the story they found was a leaked image posted on the Baidu forums, of which they claim is a Navi PCB. Now, this definitely seems to be something new from AMD, and what makes this special is that it comes with traces for either 8 or 16 gigabytes of GDDR6. Given it comes with a 256-bit memory bus quoted by Guru3D with a frequency of 12 or 14 gigahertz, would bring it to 384 or 448 gigabytes per second of bandwidth. That's definitely not bad since AMD's GCN architecture needs all the memory bandwidth it can get. Now, this is important because while GDDR6 is more expensive than GDDR5, it's significantly less expensive than HPM2. So that, coupled with the 7 nanometer process and the potential for a chiplet type design and something that isn't just a repurposed instinct card, AMD could lower their costs and subsequent prices by quite a bit. Whether they can get it that low is tough to say, but we shall see. Lastly for today, while discussing potential anniversary edition GPUs, let's go over officially launched 50th edition hardware. I shared a post about it yesterday when it was released, but basically, most of the leaks I discussed in past videos seem to be true. First, the 50th anniversary 2700X, which comes in a pretty sweet gold and black box along with Lisa Sue's signature engraved on the heat spreader and a coupon for a free 50th anniversary t-shirt. It also comes with the Division 2 Gold Edition and World War Z codes, but keep in mind that AMD is offering this with certain standard processors as well. So if you've been on the fence for one of these, definitely pick one up for two free games. Unfortunately, the Gold Edition 2700X does not come with better clocks or anything, but keep in mind that this is basically a collector's edition for fans of the company and is technically the same $329 MSRP as the standard 2700X, though of course, it's selling for less right now. The next anniversary tech is the 50th anniversary Radeon 7, which is basically just a red version that comes with most of the goodies in the anniversary edition 2700X. It costs the same $699 as the standard Radeon 7, so grab one while you still can. Lastly is the Gold Nitro Plus RX 590 that I covered in a previous video. Like the others, this is just a cosmetic change, but still something you may want to consider. I'll have all of these linked with affiliate links in the description below for anyone interested. So while that does it for today, how do you think Navi will be? Will it disappoint or can it do what Ryzen did for AMD CPUs? 
let me know down in the comments below. And if you liked the video, definitely make sure to subscribe. And as always, have a great day.